biggest medical cover-ups in history involves root canals. And in fact, the biggest mistake I ever made with my own health was listening to a dentist who told me that I needed a root canal. It damaged my immune system for years. It also set me on a search which lasted more than a decade to figure out why, as a result of allowing a root canal into my mouth, the health of my whole body was damaged. Your dentist will probably tell you, as mine did, that a root canal is a great way to replace an infected or damaged tooth. The sales talk goes something like this, quote, We clear out the pulp-filled cavity down to the root of the troubled tooth, then replace it with an inert material so you won't have to have your tooth pulled. Then we sterilize it and seal it and put a crown on the top. End of quote. (laughs) Here's what you need to know. Root canal procedures are not safe. And the irony of all of this is that your dentist probably doesn't even know this. The American Dental Association, together with most dental colleges around the world, has been denying the dangers implicit in root canal procedures literally for generations now. Way back in the 1920s, world-renowned dentist and dental researcher Weston A. Price carried out exhaustive studies on the fundamentals of dental infections and the way that they can cause systemic bodily infections and degenerative diseases. Well, after years of study, Price reported that he was never able to find one root canal treated tooth that had not eventually become seriously infected. Since then, exhaustive research by other cutting edge dentists who have been courageous enough not to buy into the official party line has confirmed Price's findings again and again. Here are some of the things that I think you need to know. Most people think of their teeth as things separate from the rest of their body. But each and every tooth in your mouth is actually a living entity, just like the organs and glands in the rest of your body, your stomach, your pancreas, your your thyroid, and so on. Each tooth has its own nerve and blood supply rising up the main canal into the inner pulp chamber, then branching out into minor canals, which communicate with the surrounding area and bone. These are called lateral canals. The bulk of a tooth, the dentine, is a porous structure made up of a network of tiny channels known as tubules. This complex network of living microscopic tubules are so numerous that in total, if you were to stretch them end to end, they would extend to an amazing two or three miles in your smallest teeth and as far as 10 miles in your larger teeth, your molars. And these tubules are infinitely small, yet they're wide enough to incubate dangerous bacteria and toxins which can seep into the rest of your body. It's here in the dentine and tubules that you'll find the crux of what makes root canals dangerous. All root canals are completely dead, and no dead tissue should ever be left in your body. I mean, would a surgeon remove a necrotic organ from your body and leave pieces of it in your tissues? Absolutely not. Yet this is exactly what takes place in a root canal. When a dead tooth is sealed, the environment becomes anaerobic. That means it has no oxygen. Bacteria then morph into their anaerobic forms, which are very dangerous, and reproduce prolifically within the dentine, creating noxious toxins. You see, the root canal acts as an ideal medium for this to take place by supplying warmth, nutrients, and water. Your immune system is unable to deal with the problem because the dead tooth has no blood supply. At most, if not all dentists, still believe that leaving a dead root canal stuck into your jaw causes no problem. And this is what endodontists, which are dentists that are highly trained as root canal specialists, do. They clear out all the blood vessels, connective tissue, and infected nerves from your tooth's pulp chamber. Then they widen and reshape it in preparation to receive the filler substance for the dead tooth, which is often gutta persia. By doing this, they are attempting to create sterility. But here's the rub. 
No amount of medication used in an attempt to sterilize these tubules has ever shown itself capable of accomplishing this. You see, there's simply no way of eliminating bacteria hidden in tubules. They can harbor masses of bacteria and diseased tissue, and since the tooth is completely dead, nothing more than a moribund hunk of material, your jaw becomes the ideal place for toxic byproducts to be produced. Because a dead tooth's blood supply and oxygen supply no longer exists, bacteria present in this space between the upper gum and the crown of the tooth easily make their way into the porous tubules not only infecting the area around the dead tooth, but your gums as well, causing gingivitis and then periodontitis. Then, pathogenic bacteria can begin to travel to other sites in your body, creating potentially serious health problems, like inflammation, heart disease, even building up plaque in your arteries. Similar to the Clostridium botulinum bacteria, which of course creates that hideous toxin associated with botulism, hundreds of mouth bacteria, when deprived of oxygen, behave in a similar way. To quote Robert Kulatz, DDS, and Thomas Levy, MD, they say, quote, like the oxygen-starved environment of a contaminated vacuum-packed can of food, the harmless bacteria of the mouth will produce similarly potent toxins when trapped in the oxygen-starved environment of the tubules of a root canal-treated tooth. Okay, fair warning. But root canal procedures are great moneymakers each year. Endodontists in the Western world carry out a mind-boggling 30 to 40 million root canal procedures. You see, I found out about all of this the hard way when I came to experience for myself just how devastating the seepage of pathogenic and poisonous byproducts can be into my body. My own body was having to work hard to support my immune system. I was suffering with strong pains in areas of my body which there appeared to be no apparent cause for. So I devoted many months to researching the worldwide root canal cover-up. I read books and interviewed experts, and as a result of what I learned, I chose to have two root canals removed from my mouth by a brilliant oral maxillofascial surgeon. Within a couple of weeks of doing this, the horrible pain in my body, which I'd been forced to put up with for years, as well as the fatigue that went with it, disappeared. So here's the bottom line. Refuse to accept what you're told about how safe root canals are supposed to be, regardless of how nice your dentist is. Carry out your own research. Discover firsthand the truth behind root canal cover-up. It could change your life and your health for the better. I suggest also that you read some of the books that I've listed below and contact responsible organizations for information on root canals. But be careful, because there are an awful lot of them out there that are not responsible. I would suggest you start with the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology. You will be glad you did. Thanks for listening.